Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. My name is John Boyd, and I'm here with Mr. Cortez, famous actor. You've been in 30 movies in the last three years. Isn't that right? That's correct. Wow. Yep. And what are you working on now? Well, we, we just finished working on Bikers vs. Werewolves. Uh, we're filming out in Nevada, uh, filmed by the Mahal Brothers Productions. And now um, I'm going to be working with a uh, director here from this area, uh, Michael Garcia, mm -hmm. doing uh, On American Soil. So I'm going to go do his uh, work on that uh, next month. Is that, uh, what is that movie about, American it's Soil? It's about uh, an immigrant family, some guy working with the border, both sides of the border. And I'm playing an ICE agent, but as usual, I'm not a nice guy. I'm a I'm a crooked ICE agent, so. Oh, wow. Yes. So, yeah. So, you're, you're usually, they put you in like the gangster. I'm usually the villain, yeah. The even villain. In, um, in most, even when I play a CEO, I was a, a greedy, polluting CEO. Ah. Uh. Um, that's usually my vibe. Except this last, um, I was actually playing a good guy in the box by our friend, you know, Kiki Suki. Yes. A film, he wrote a short film. And I was actually the the good father. I was actually, in, and my wife was a mean one. So oh. I got to be the nice guy in that one. So for thank, once, thank you, Kiki nice Suki, guy. for letting me be yes, the nice guy. Yes, he was guy. here just last week. Yeah, he the, he helped me start off in this business, actually. Really? Yeah, so. Who arigato. Was, arigato, dom arigato. Mm -hmm. So what was your inspiration to become an actor? You know, ever since I was a kid, I was acting, actually. But uh, I got away from it. My first uh, acting gig, believe it or not, it was in kindergarten. And, really? I, and I still played a villain. I was, uh, I was, I was Papa <laughs> Bear. That's funny. I was Papa Bear and the Three Bears. I was, I was always large for my size. Uh -huh. And I think I scared the hell out of poor Goldilocks. I was like, who's <laughs> in my bed? <laughs> he ran out. I was like, wait, you missed your line. <laughs> um, and then in, uh, later, in, then in uh, junior high, it's some plays. High school, I worked on a passion play that was touring. Through San Antonio. Oh wow! And um, so where well, are you? Where I were you born? Are you born from San Antonio? In San Antonio. Yeah. Okay. But in the Passion Play, I played Barabbas. <laughs> you know, and I did it. I I thought I was going to get crucified, but then they made me Barabbas, and I got set free. So was that Jesus Christ Superstar? No, it was just a Passion Play about. Oh, Christ. Yeah, it was a serious one. I'd love to do that. That Jesus Christ Superstar because yeah. my mom listened to that record over mm -hmm. and over and over again. I think I must have been like five or six years old when it came out. But I know the whole play inside and out, backwards right. and forwards. I could play Judas. Mm -hmm. I could play um, maybe Jesus. But I'd, I'd yeah. really, I'd really like to play um, Judas, a villain. Yeah. Well, technically, you know, he if he wouldn't have done what he did, I mean, that was part of fate. Was he destined to do it? Was Judas really a villain, or did he actually facilitate Christ's? Uh, that's, that's and the big our question. So, I watched how deep do we want to go with this? Right, yeah. So, what was your favorite role? You were in a role recently about Roman times. What was that movie? That was um, actually, well, the first film I did was a Roman film. Mm -hmm. That's what got me back into acting was Eyes of a Roman, the one by C.J. Goodwin, and Kiki Suki had worked on that. Uh, and I, I went to do a, a Viking, uh, excuse me, a Romans versus Barbarians battle scene. And it was in the middle of COVID. Everything was shut down. I was already pissed off because uh, I went to go see a concert in Amsterdam. It got shut down because of COVID. I said, <laughs> I'm not doing anything. So I said, you want to do a battle scene? I'm like, sure. So I went out there and then uh, CJ Goodwin asked me to come back. He, so he started using more and more shots. And actually, thank you. He, I got the kill on the main character, one of the main characters. I got to go and do a two-hander. So. Um, and did you see David Vela on the, on the film? That was a different film. Yeah. Was, oh, okay. Actually, I was going to do that Were one. You and on then that one? No, originally I was cast to do that one, to do that part. And then uh -huh. we just had misunderstandings about going out to Dallas and what the compensation would be. And so um, I, you know, backed out of it with some other actors here. Well, now that I said it, I'm going to have to invite him. David Vela, if you're watching, yeah. you're invited to David, come on nice the show. David's a nice guy. Really yeah, nice man. He's a great guy. But uh, on Eyes of a Roman, that's, you know, Kiki Suki was on that. And then. How we got working together is, I, uh, he was a trainer and I was a lot heavier. That's why I don't show behind the scenes photos from that. Wow. But, uh, I could kind of hide it with the shield. But so I was this training. This is my with, shield. Yeah. I was training with <laughs> Kiki and my first speaking part was on one of Kiki Suki's films, Darkness. Uh, you know, he knew I was an actor and we're training together. He goes, Hey, do you have a dark blue suit? 
Like I lied. I said, yeah, sure. Why? <laughs> well, you want to come play a newscaster? So the day before so I went out after we worked out, I ran and found on a dark blue suit. And I got to do a little uh, news scene. I think I've seen a that. A cameo. Suit. You know? Yeah, I have a Nice few. looking suit. Yeah, thank you. But uh, that's how it kind of got started. But the, the Roman thing you saw was by the Gracias Choir. It was up in uh, out by Dallas. And I got to ride in on a horse as a, as a commander. And we just, you know, terrorized the whole village of people. You know, I, I'm looking at you now. And I, I, I'm just picturing you as like, uh, New York mobster. Can you do a New York mobster voice for us? I mean, what, what is this place? Like, Why do you guys do this? Well, we, we, yo, get out of here. I mean, get what, out of here. Right. I mean, what, what, yeah. what I'm working this here. Boy. I'm working. We're trying to work over here. And this guy, you know, wants to come and talk to you. I don't answer no questions. I don't you know do nothing. You do boy. Like he talks I don't know like nothing. I don't know nothing. You don't know nothing. But I get cast a lot, too, as mafia guys. So. Yeah. Well, um, I spent 10 years in Puerto Vallarta, Mexico, and okay. another 10 in Mexico City. And it's amazing. It's, it's a lot like Los Angeles. It has different colonies. Right. And I think the most famous one would be like, there's a, a, um, a Jewish colony. Mm -hmm. And so you have people, you know, that don't work on Saturdays. And the elevators in, in the, um, the buildings, they go up and close and open at every door because they're, they're not allowed to push the button. Yeah, they're not allowed to oh, drive. They on have to have on a Saturdays, drive. you yes. gotta go through everything. That would make it frustrating. Yeah, but they get somebody else to push it. Yeah, they get somebody else to push have, it or you drive. You have somebody else push it for yeah. you. Yeah, I don't realize the, how many judíos went to Mexico when they had to leave Spain during the uh, Inquisition and the uh, after the Alhambra proclamation. Mexico City is a, a fascinating place. A lot of them went place. to they. A lot of them, they went to Mexico. In Monterrey, I have family uh, in Monterrey and they're judíos. My name Nájera. Is actually Judeo. Yeah. Yeah, because the, the Jewish, they, they invaded Spain mm -hmm. a long time ago and left a lot of culture there. Yeah, and the, the, um, also the Judeo changed their names after they converted. And so they didn't want to see, you know, who's this Goldstein guy? No, it's, it's Flores. <laughs> no, they pick him there, or De La Garza is a big, Garza is a crane. Or the, and that's a big, a lot of the Judeos picked up that it's name. It's a famous name in Monterey, the most. The wealthiest families in Monterey. I actually met that gentleman. Did you? Yes. Yes, we did. Had a nice little discussion with him. And I had a friend in Monterey. I, I said, well, what did your dad give you for a birthday? He said, a $40 million hotel. I said, mm. what? <laughs> and he invited me there. He he was uh, adventure tourism. But it's yes. funny you talk about adventure tourism. I was there. And, you know, I work a lot with uh, Lorena Monroe from Bonita Productions. Mm -hmm. And we were going visiting different business people. That's how I met Mr. De La Garza. And someone with a ranch there, they're doing a lot of the adventure sports on their ranch outside of Monterrey. Sotolar, Rancho Sotolar. Oh, okay. And the doctor there, the retired doctor, he's beautiful place. They have some old chapels, 300 year old buildings on there. So he wants to do films there. And there's a hotel there, electricity, Wi Fi, everything you need to to edit and work on your film, you, it would be a one stop. You wouldn't have to worry about transporting crew or the cast because they mm -hmm. could all stay at the hotel on the ranch. And then they're bringing in extreme sports. You're going to have to give me that information. We went I to a motocross the event there. If you look at, you follow like on my Instagram, uh, Andrew Cortez USA or Bonita Productions USA, you'll see that we have films from when we're going with all the four wheelers and touring through the country and the rivers and they do a lot of extreme sports there. So tell me, what uh, film that you're working on in, in the near future do you want to promote? What what is it? That All of them. All no, of them. <laughs> the ones that I have, the ones I have financial interest in. Um, no, we're going to be doing. Uh, actually, we're going to go be, be going to Malaga, España, oh, very wow. shortly to go scout for locations, and uh, for a film called Zambakini. Visit the, the, the town of Nahara while you're there. For I just, will, just and I'll go say I know a guy. Hey, I know this guy. <laughs> this guy. Um, it's uh, by Silent Studios. Uh, Jason Wright was a direct, is the director and writer. Uh, I worked with him on a film in England called The House That Zombies Built. And we had a good working uh, connection. So he brought me in on this uh, Zambakini. I'm helping produce that. And I'm going to get a yacht off of Malaga. And we're going to have a wow. yacht scene with oh, bikini girls. Nice. And I'm going to be uh, Dr. Max Miro Montes. If you get the joke, Nero Montes. But anyway, <laughs> uh, it's going to be fun, and we're going to go out there and scout some locations. And uh, 
Fantastic. And Joe, due to the, the Malaga Film Festival, we want to cover the Malaga Film Festival with Bonita Productions. So. Nice. So that Zambakini is going to be, you know, that's the next one we're working on. Well, good luck to you. This is John Boyd with KLMO, and we are here with Mr. Cortez, famous actor, and we hope to see you again soon.